Hello everyone, how's it going? In this video I'll be showing you how to fix EA anti-cheat errors when trying to play FC24 online. So the first thing that you're going to want to do is go to the location where you installed the game. Once you're in this location, you now need to open up this folder here that says installer. You then need to go into the EA anti-cheat folder and then double click on EA anti-cheat installer. In fact, it'd be better if you actually right click and go run as administrator. You now need to click on the drop down and select FC24 and you're then going to want to click on repair. You then need to click on OK and you then need to go to the location where the game's installed. So as you can see, I've got the location here. So I'm just going to simply select the path, go like that and then press select folder. It's now going to run a few repairs. So just give it a few seconds. And there we go. You can now see it says install success. Go ahead and try FC24 and see if that resolved the issue you were having. If it didn't, the next thing you want to do is just click on update and see if there are any new updates available. If it can't find any new updates and you're still having problems, then the next thing to do is go back on the EA anti-cheat setup and just go uninstall. Once you've uninstalled it, now simply close this down, right click on the installer again and go run as administrator, click on the drop down, select FC24 and then go install. Just give it a few seconds and there we go, it now says installed. Go ahead and launch the game again and see if that helped. Obviously if that didn't, then the next thing that you're going to want to do is download a program that I created called Easy Gaming Utility. Once you've downloaded it, you will end up with a screen that looks like this, or a window should I say. Go ahead and select the Fix tab. You then need to scroll all the way to the bottom until you come across Custom Game Fixing. Now on the free version, you get free attempts at fixing games. On the pro version, it's unlimited. And also you'd be supporting me as a developer. So a big thank you for that. The next thing that you need to do is click on browse and go to the location where you installed the game. So I've got the location there and you now need to select FC24 and go open. You then need to click on the drop down and select the launcher where you purchased the game from. So I'm using the EA app so I need to select EA app. You now need to go ahead and click on attempt fix. This is now going to attempt to fix the issue that you're having and then launch the game. And with a bit of luck, that will resolve the problem that you're having with the EA anti-cheat. If that didn't um, launch the game, then it would have ran some troubleshooting methods and stuff anyway. So go ahead and launch the game manually. So the next thing that you want to do within Easy Game Utility is select the network tab. And we now want to click on clear DNS. So click on the clean button. Once you've cleared your DNS cache, Go ahead and restart your computer and then try launching FIFA again and see if that resolved the issue that you're having. If none of the methods in this video have helped you so far, I will also pop a link in the description below to a guide that I will do, which I will add more methods to that I wasn't able to think of at the time or add into this video. We can now go ahead and close down. In fact, actually, if you click on this option here, reset network adapter, that can also help resolve problems, but this is going to reset your network adapter settings. So if you're okay with that, then go ahead and click on reset and restart your computer and then see if that also helped. If that didn't, then the next thing that you want to do is ensure that you don't have any security software on your computer blocking FC24 and also its EA anti-cheat. So if you do have a third party security program, put it into a passive or a game mode or a silent mode and then launch the game again. If that didn't help, then try disabling your security software for a temporary period of time. Just keep in mind though that you might not be protected from threats while it's disabled. So that does now bring me to the end of this video. I hope you did enjoy it. If you did like it, click the like button below. And if you want to see more videos, then click the subscribe button. If you do subscribe, then I will see you in the next video.